Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be checking out Snipe, which is my inventory software. Um, I've been using this for a few years now on a personal level, um, even longer on a, I guess, professional level. Um, I've got it installed for a few organizations that I work for. Um, it is fantastic. I really like Snipe. Now that I know how to host it better, it's been a lot more reliable for me. I used to run it in Docker, uh, Docker and Compose actually, and all of the updates and stuff were really frustrating. but. Right now, I'm running it in um, what's called CloudRun, which is kind of a Docker management software, kind of like a nicer user experience, and you can kind of just create containers and applications inside of it. I'll show you how to set it up later, but real quick, I just want to do a quick little rundown here on Snipe and all that it does. I really like it. Um, so on the left here, there's different assets, licenses, accessories, consumables, components, predefined kits, people, import, settings, reports, and requestable items. It's kind of a brief overview of what's on the sidebar, but that kind of gives you an idea of all that it um, can keep track of. There's different kinds of models, companies, um, suppliers, vendors, um, all kinds of things that you can manually adjust on a granular level, which is really nice. So if I pull up an asset here, okay, so I pulled up an SFP Plus cable here. You can see that it, um, Snipe keeps track of the serial, manufacturer, category, model number, model, um, purchase date, purchase cost, order number, supplier, warranty end of life, notes, location, created time, all kinds of different um, aspects. Um, it also creates a kind of barcode here, or a QR code in this case. So there's a lot of useful stuff that it does here. It can generate asset labels for you. Um, so it's basically just an inventory software. There's not much more to it, but um, I do really like how it keeps track of end of life and warranties and stuff. It does it very nicely. Um, I do um, like that. You can also upload files or invoices and as well you can also add pictures right here pictures show up right there um, if we go to licenses you can have components inside of assets you can check out licenses to certain assets so it's really amazing how much you can do with snipe it's completely free open source i believe they do have a paid plan but that's only if you want them to host it for you which is not a bad um, idea but in this case for what i'm doing here i can host it myself just fine so that's what i'm doing um, all kinds of settings you can do there's email alerts uh, different kinds of logins. You can actually do Google Workspace logins, which is sweet. I do that at one of my organizations. Um, so people can log in with their Google accounts. You can check out assets to users, keep track of all that stuff. If you delete a user, it automatically marks all those assets as missing. All kinds of things you can do. Um, I'm not going to go too much into that, but if you want to check out Snipe, I've been using it for years. Like I said, I absolutely love it. I highly recommend you check it out. Okay, so I'm making an Azure virtual machine right now, and we're going to connect to this thing. I'm going to we're going to take a look at this virtual machine. So I'm making one in the cloud just for this video. All right, so we're in the virtual machine now. This is going to be super easy. I'm going to pull up CloudRon's website right now. We'll take a look at this. It is literally just a few commands here. It's just the wget command, which we're going to just download the setup script. We're going to then add the permissions to it to make it executable and then we're going to run it. So once it is root, so there we go. That's pretty much all you have to do to install it. It's going to go through the entire setup of CloudRon. Um, first, it'll update your VM. Um, pretty soon, it's going to ask for kind of the settings that you want. Uh, the only kind of downside to CloudRon is that you have to have a domain name for this. So if you don't have a DNS domain name that's public on the internet, you're going to want to go and buy a domain. But for this, it'll be fine. Um, it can actually even link in with Cloudflare or whatever DNS provider you have for your domain to automatically create the records that you need um, for whatever you're doing on CloudRun. Every time you create an application, it asks for the URL that you want. So CloudRun can actually log into Cloudflare for you, essentially using their API, and create these DNS records for you. So it does save a lot of time and makes it easy for some people that might not be as tech savvy. So it's, yeah, it's a really nice option. Okay, so the CloudRun install is done. It's saying after reboot, you need to visit this URL, accept the self-signed certificate and complete the setup. So we're going to select Y. I'm going to copy this URL. This will all be deleted by the time you see this. I'm going to reboot that now. And I'm going to open up Google Chrome here in another tab. Alright, so now we're going to click Advanced and proceed for domain setup. I'm going to use one of my domains here, so beam-hosting.net. For domain configuration, I'm going to do the unrecommended way. Although I would highly recommend you use the Cloudflare DNS provider, I'm going to do manual, which is not recommended. So we're going to set up an A record here on the domain. You can't see this, but I'm going to just type this stuff in. I'm on Cloudflare, creating the um, record right here. So now we're going to continue. We're going to click Next. Now that we have the domain 
configured, I guess, in Cloudflare. This is going to wait for the DNS propagation, and then it's going to issue a certificate from Let's Encrypt to get the certificate ready for this domain. Then you're going to access this from my dot domain, whatever. Um, you'll see here in a second, as soon as we're done, I'm going to let this finish, and then we'll move on to the setup. It'll make more sense here soon. All right, so as you can see, it has redirected us here to the CloudRound setup on the new domain. So we're going to type in our name, um, email address. This is for Let's Encrypt and for, I guess, CloudRound stuff as well. Um, so I'm going to give my CloudRound email. The username is going to be Beam Networks, obviously. Okay. Now we're going to create the admin account by clicking create. CloudRound is already used, we're going to proceed to dashboard. So now that that is all good to go, we're going to go um, over here to App Store and it's going to access, er, sorry, it's going to ask us to log into CloudRound.io. I'm going to fill in my CloudRound information here. I happen to already have an account. Um, if not, make an account, it's free. It's basically just giving you access to the entire library of CloudRound stuff. Um, they have all kinds of apps you can host here yourself. You can run this on your own servers, but um, in this case, I'm obviously just running this up in Azure. Um, I'm going to scroll down here and find Snipe IT. So right here is what it is. Last updated 10 days ago. We're going to click install. We're going to give it a domain. So we're going to type in inventory.beamhosting.net. And I'll give this, and I'll give this an A record. I'll click save. And we're going to allow all users from this CloudRun. So basically, if you create a user in CloudRun, it'll automatically add it to Snipe. That's what I'll do for now. We'll click Install. So now we have Inventory Installing. I'm going to open up a new tab. Type in inventory.beamhosting.net. Advanced. Proceed. Um, oh, and it's still waiting for the service to start. So it won't even let me do that yet. So, so as you can see, we're just waiting for it to install and start. We'll give it a few minutes. We'll come right back. All right, so now that it is done, we can see that it's running. We're going to click the button up here to open it. We're going to acknowledge. There's notes here that says this app is pre-set up with an admin account. We're going to use admin and the password, which is changeb123. Paste that in there, click login, and here we go. So it looks different than mine just because it's a brand new setup. Um, we'll go over here to the top right, and you'll see all the different options we have on here. If you go to branding, you can upload all your stuff, and that is pretty much all that you have to know. Um, from here, you just got to go, you can make some uh, manufacturers, suppliers, models, locations, and that kind of stuff. Once you start to get some of those made, then you can create assets. And creating assets is really easy. You just go to the top right, click asset, or sorry, create new asset, and you can type in the asset tag that you want. It can auto-generate it. You can type in a serial number, model number, status, notes, default location. Um, you can even type in your order information. That way, if you have to RMA it or return the item, you can go back here, see where it was purchased from. It's a lot easier. Go to optional information, you can type in an asset name, warranty, audit date, that kind of stuff. Um, really useful software. I really do like Snipe. So that is all for this video. I hope it's beneficial to you. There's a lot of other stuff you can do in CloudRun as well. I highly recommend you check that out. Um, but that is all I'm going to get into in this video. Um, have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.